What's going on guys? Well, welcome to the first vlog on the Syndicate Diaries. I've jumped out a quick after work session. I've settled in a nice little, uh, nice little, I would say a spot, but I've had to climb down the bank, as you can see, big tree behind me. I've got all three rods out now. Presented perfect as well. Filling the donk down, I found all the nice spots. Bit of weed in front of me, but I've managed to clear, clear a few little openings just to present, present just enough to present my rig on there. So hopefully fingers crossed always I'm gonna fish it till dark and see if we can have a fish out before I go home. But this is gonna be Syndicate Dory's part one anyway. So I've got all three completely different different rigs on. I've got a pop-up on, I've got a zig on and I've got a wafter on. So I'm gonna go with that approach today and see where I go. Not so long ago I had a bleep on my left hand rod. So hopefully fingers crossed there's something in the area anyway because I'm not back leading so that was another thing I've, I've done different this time. I come and did a couple of hours on here the other night, so this one here now, I'm happy with getting all the cameras set up and getting a little vlog sorted. So I'm happy with my spots that I'm at now and I'm happy with where I'm presented. So fingers crossed guys, it is nice to be out here. I mean, a couple of hours after work and that here and there, it's, it may work, it may not work, I don't know. I've done different, so I was backleading the other night when I did a couple of hours, but this time I haven't. And I've had indications that it's fish in the area because I've had a couple of lines on my left hand rod. So, fingers crossed, guys, I can have one before I go home. So, without further ado, I'm going to kick back, watch the water, keep my eyes on it because, as I say, I've only got about three hours under my belt if I'm looking. So, but them three hours, I've got three rods out there. I've got every chance, really. I've got three chances, three traps are set. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, I can have one before I go. So, if not, I'll see you guys shortly. going on guys and welcome back well sadly I've got nothing I've had a couple of more liners this time now on the middle rod so hopefully fingers crossed there's something in the area um, as I said earlier if you're still watching thank you if you are still watching really grateful it's a big old water with around about 200 carp in it so it is gonna be an absolute challenge and a half which we knew from the start that what we was up against so all we can do is just keep plugging away but for now guys I I haven't got anything to show you, not even a bream, which is surprising. Uh, one of the lads was on here today and he, he's been absolutely breamed off it, so he's packed up early. But hopefully, guys, next time you see me, I've got a big fat chunky carp in my hands. But until then, guys, stay tuned. And if you are still watching, thanks again. And thanks for everyone, all the support out there, guys. That, like I say, it's just something that we enjoy doing. Every now and then, I like vlogging my sessions. Obviously, I've got 12 months on here now where I'm going to try and get as much vlogging on here as I can but keep up to date as well and also it's a good a good little uh, log for myself to see what I can have out of here in, in the next 12 months so as I say guys I'm going to keep plugging away three rods are still out there so I've got three chances of, of a car before I go home which would be nice so until then guys thanks again for watching and stay tuned well guys welcome back well sadly I haven't got nothing yet to show you anyway um, as I say, from a post on social media, it's a big old water. They've got estimated around 200 carp in here, so it's going to be a challenge, but challenge accepted. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can, once I start getting them going, I've walked around it more than I've actually fished it. This is only my second evening session on here, but I've had the marker rod out here a few times and in spots finding the weed, the silt, the gravel bars. So it is going to be... A bit of a tricky process to, to get up and go in. I can't wait to actually get vivid up and get on here for an overnighter, which will be soon. But all these evening after work sessions, they can still work. So as I say, I've got around about, I've had in total probably about three hours straight from work, straight on here. By the time the rods are out, oh well, I've been happy where I'm gonna set up. I've cleared a couple of swims, presented all the rigs perfect because I know they're actually sitting on there because when I was bringing back the lead earlier there was no weed whatsoever on the spots that I cleared so I know they're perfect so hopefully fingers got crossed guys I can can have something before I go home but 
like I say, it's it's a big old water with around about 200 carp in here, so it would be nice every time we do a vlog on here, or every time I do do a vlog on here, whether it's myself or whether it's my brother as well. If if there isn't any fish in there, please keep keep obviously watching and liking and sharing, because like I say, guys, it's, I can't stress enough, it's, it's a massive big old water with around about 200 carp in, so. Without further ado, guys, I'll keep you posted and keep you updated with how it's going for the remainder of the session. So, see you later. Well, guys, welcome back. As you can probably gather, I'm in the car and I'm on my way home. Well, in a minute, I will be as soon as I've done this this vlog. Uh, obviously, disappointed not to have a fish, but it's still a learning curve. It's only the second time I've I've got the rods out on there. I've walked around it more than. I've actually got the rods out and fished. It's all about sussing the water out. We're nearing now the end of August, so I've been on there now since I think I got my ticket about a week or so into August, and in between that I've had a 10 day holiday. So I've been away on holiday as well. So unfortunately guys, I haven't I haven't done as much on there as well I'd like to have in the first few weeks of having the ticket, but it's a learning curve. If you're still watching from earlier, like I keep saying, it's a big old water. 200 carp in it so i'm not just gonna jump on them straight away it would be nice but i, I want to obviously learn not just one or two swims i want to learn the whole water go go I'll literally around the whole lake mark a rod noting it down obviously because there's going to be times where i might get down there and there's a peg what i've probably sussed out someone might be in it because that's joys of being on a syndicate or well, everyone's free to fish wherever they like on there but i'm gonna uh get home now get obviously the head into prepping ready for the next session uh, it's Monday evening now so I'll be back on here I've got the football tomorrow night so I'll be back on here on Wednesday evening these quick short sessions after work they might pay off they might not but it's also giving me that extra couple of hours of getting on there and sussing the water out a bit more before I actually jump on there and get a good overnight session in there and maybe a 48 so well there'll definitely be more than 24 hour sessions on there 48 but for this one guys, part one, Syndicate Diaries, is a big fat blank, but as I say, we've got plenty of months ahead, so please stay tuned, thanks for everyone that is still liking, sharing and, and watching all the YouTube videos, I can't thank you enough, as I've said previously in some of them, I'm not going out there to be any big Charlie or anyone, I am just enjoy doing my fishing, I enjoy vlogging some of my sessions, and obviously now, being on here now, I'm going to vlog as much as I can on there throughout the whole period of my ticket on there and it's also a good a good catch log for me once I get amongst them and hopefully keep a, a bit of a, a log for myself of what sort of fish I'm actually managing to get amongst so stay tuned guys see you next time part one big fat blank but oh well there'll be part two three four five six and so on and so on so see you next time guys and thanks for watching